do you feel like your life is chaos and there's too much things in your life? That's Monday. Today we're going to talk about the life-changing manga of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. Yes, there's a book out there. Yes, there's a Netflix series. Uh, but I decided I wanted to read the manga mostly because I wanted to see the pictures of how they're folding things. I thought that would be really interesting. Uh, get more of a reference. Plus I knew manga. Uh, Marshall likes reading that kind of a thing. So does my husband. So I thought um, after I did this, uh, I got this book. Like, why did I get this book? Uh, oh, I think I bought it like an ebook, and then I decided, no, I want a physical copy, so I bought that too. Um, but I think the the ebook was really, really cheap, so it, like it kind of it kind of. And after she was done reading it, Corey got a hold of the physical copy and hid it um, while he was writing reading it. So I was like, ebook. <laughs> so everyone in our house is reading it right now, yeah. which is great because in September we're going to uh, overhaul the house, although we've kind of started already, but we're overhauling the whole house in September. Mm -hmm. So another good reason to read this book. So it really is, I mean, if you've been living under a rock and don't know what the, the Conry method is, it's basically how to pare down your stuff to things that only are things you are going to use, things that bring you joy, things that are not just laying around cluttering your life so that you can have a better mind, so that you can be more clear and you're not having to like deal with a crap ton of stuff in your house or in your life. And you know, that is basically it. How do you find the things that you do have? Like how do you fold your clothes so that you can see them all? I've already implemented the folding clothes thing back when the TV stories came on Netflix. So that part I don't need as much, but other things, you know, were really good to learn. Yeah. And what I found really interesting about this book is it's got a constructed storyline around it where Conmary goes over to somebody's house as an assistant because this person has a lot of problems. She's like a hoarder. She, she is like a hoarder, <laughs> although they give you good reasons and storyline why she is. There's mm -hmm. actually a good, cute storyline behind everything here. Right, yeah. And what this has done is it allows... Uh, Marie Kondo to kind of bring out some of the hidden reasons behind a lot of what she does. I've not read any of her books. I've not watched any of her stuff. But in seeing this manga, I realized that a lot of her method is steeped in very deep psychological and spiritual things that make total sense when you put it into those perspectives. And seeing that, I'm like, okay, she's got something here. <laughs> She definitely has some interesting ideas. I like this. And it just made, like, the manga made a lot of her ideas more meaningful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you think that you are going to be using the uh, things that she talks about, like, you know, in your personal life, in your personal space? I'm going to show you a picture of my desk space here. I can see it over there. I was just thinking that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'd like to. We'll get there. I tidy my desk like once a week pretty much um, just to make sure that it has like space for me to work. It's I not mean, horrible. I mean mine's a little cluttered right now but it's not horrible. I, I, we at least still have the joy rises to the right thing going on here. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay so as far as uh, your ratings what do you give this? Uh, I gave this a four star. I did as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the only thing that kept it from being five star um, Yuko Yuramoto, who did the artwork, is not a bad artist. She's right. really good. It's good, cutesy, um, what the Japanese would call shoujo art. It just, there was a lot of lack of detail here and there that it felt like it should be there, um, kinds of things, like little inconsistencies. And that's the only thing that I had a qualm with with this book. Otherwise, right. it was just nice and cute. I, I, I'm with you. I'm yeah. with you on that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, are you interested in learning the methods that she teaches? Like, do you need a little bit more in your life that's going to help you um, with this time? Especially if you're in your house a lot, having a lot of clutter probably isn't the calmest place to be. But this might be able to help you. It's, yeah. it's wrong shui. Yeah. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay zany. Bye.